Hoochie Fam. Uh, today is Monday. At least it is for me when I'm recording this. It'll probably be Tuesday when this gets up. Uh, but today I'm going to talk about uh, the Chiefs. Uh, the next episode tomorrow I will record about the Royals after their first series is over. Um, and kind of reflect on those games. But in the meantime, we're going to talk about uh, the big trades that the Chiefs have... Uh, one, not trade, but the big signing that the Chiefs have made. Uh, they have signed uh, recently uh, Taylor Stallworth, uh, former defensive tackle of the Colts. He's 26 years old, six foot two, 305 pounds. And uh, he came to Kansas City for a visit and ended up signing with them the very day he came came in for the Chiefs to look at him. Um, so uh, he started off in New Orleans at, in 2018 as an undrafted free agent. Um, played two seasons for them before he went to the Colts. He's played in 50 games. Uh, started in two of them, so he's not going to be an every down player, uh, necessarily, but hey, 50 games, that's nothing to shy away from, uh, in his three seasons, uh, 44 tackles, so that's not too bad of an average, considering he played in 50, 50 games and got 44 tackles, uh, so he gets a tackle in most of his games, at least one, on average, uh, 27 of them are solo. Uh, six tackles were for a loss. Uh, he's got 4.5 sacks. He's got two fumble recoveries and one uh, pass deflection. Um, so he's not going to be what I would say a big playmaker necessarily. Uh, with uh, only six tackles for a loss and the the 4.5 sacks. Um, like I said, not a, not a big name player, but I would say definitely a player still to, to watch on the field, uh, see what he does. Like I said, it's only his, this will only be his fourth year and he, he, he may still be coming into his own at age 26. It might be interesting to see what he does on the field this year. But like I said, I don't, I don't see him being a big playmaker, but he's, he's there. Uh, then we uh, move on, talk about uh, right now what the Chiefs are needing uh, for the upcoming season. They are needing a defensive end. They're needing a tackle, safety, cornerback, receiver, um, things that they may pick up in the draft or free agency uh, as time goes on. And to remember, the Chiefs have the toughest schedule in the NFL this year. Um, arguably the toughest. They've got, of course, the Raiders and the Broncos, who've made big improvements um, over the offseason so far. Uh, and like I said, the offseason is just beginning. So those are definitely teams to look out for in, in their own division. Plus... You have the Texans, you have the Titans, you have the Rams, the 49ers, the Bengals, the Bills, the Bucks. Who, as we know, Tom Brady decided not to retire and he's back with the Bucks again. So we're going to see another uh, showdown between Mahomes and Brady later on in the year. Uh, so the Chiefs really don't have... It, it doesn't get easier. It gets harder as they go. Um from the looks of their schedule. And they're trying to make, uh, right now, it, there's talks the Chiefs in the draft could be trying to make some improvements on wide receiver. As we know, they lost Tyree Kill. So now we're trying to, uh, they're trying to make up for that. And they're looking at, one guy they might be looking at anyway is Jamison Williams from Alabama. There's talks they could trade up to get him. Uh, the downside to him is, I mean, he's got a lot of good news about him. The bad news about him is that he has a torn ACL uh, in the national championship game, and he won't be ready for week one of this upcoming season if he is drafted. 
uh, by Kansas City. Uh, well, it doesn't matter who drafts him. He won't be ready for week one. So that means he probably won't get much practice in. He won't get much reps before the season starts. He'll have to just kind of get started right from the beginning. Um, so, I mean, the potential is there, but you're still going to put a gamble on him, at least for this season. Um, but like I said, the, the potential is there. I could see that happening. I could see Kansas City maybe trading up to get him. But at the same point, if they want to make put points on the board right away and now and hit while, a strike while the iron is hot, so to speak, and try to make another run for it in the playoffs um, this year and then kind of worry about next year when next year gets here, he may not be their guy. They may be looking for somebody else that can that can make plays here and now. Um, so there's that thought. Another guy they may be looking at is a linebacker, uh, Bo uh, Maffey. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, from uh, Minnesota, um, another big name linebacker in the draft. Um, so that's a possibility to add to their defense. Uh, then there's also wide receiver George Pickens. He visited uh, Kansas City uh, earlier, and um, there's some red flags with him as well. Uh, he's injury prone in college, and he had some on-field issues as well. So don't really know if uh, the on-field issues alone could put him away from Kansas City. I don't know if he's going to be a fit with what the Chiefs represent in that regard. Although he definitely could change his ways. Time will tell. But then you got the injury prone as well. And when you are a team like Kansas City that just came off of an, you know, of an AFC Championship game, which you didn't win, but you're still there. I mean, that high of of an achievement in the NFL alone, at least getting to that game. So if you're wanting to try to do a repeat or trying to get back in it as soon as possible, again, with a guy who gets injured a lot, he may not be your guy. You might want to, I don't know if Kansas City's going to pick him. They might, but I have doubts. And then on the other side of the news, uh, the lighter side, uh, Patrick Mahomes was spotted at the Royals game la yesterday with his wife Brittany and his daughter Sterling. Uh, of course, the Royals lost that game 17-3, to um, you know, uh, but I mean, which I'll cover again, I'll cover that game and the series in tomorrow's thing, but uh, it's good to see that he is out and about. Uh, with his daughter and, and his wife having a good time during the off season. So, you know, shows that maybe he's not as worried about the upcoming season as maybe some of us fans are, which might be a good thing. Might be a good thing to, to look into. Anyway, uh, well then we got Warren, Juan Thornhill. I'm sorry. Uh, safety of the Chiefs. He was vocal, uh, speaking his mind now, about the controversy that's going on between Missouri fans and Kansas fans as to whether the stadium, uh, Arrowhead, or the Chiefs stadium in the future should stay at Arrowhead, or stay in Missouri at least, or go to Kansas. Um... His comment was, y'all argue about this Kansas side and Missouri side stuff, but all of y'all end up in the same stadium on Sundays. I don't get it. Personally, I don't get it either. Um, I Don't get me wrong. I think for tra tradition's sake that I would like to see the Chiefs stay on the Missouri side simply because ever since they left Texas, Missouri's been their home. Um, just for tradition, I would like to see them stay in Kansas City, Missouri. But if they did go to the Kansas side, became the Can uh, Kansas City, Kansas, 
Chiefs. I really wouldn't be too upset about that necessarily either. I still go to the games. I still watch them. I still support them. I can see where some fans might be a little upset, you know, especially with the Kansas-Missouri border war. It just kind of adds to it. But, um, yeah, per, on a personal note, other than my only ar argument would be for tradition, but, I mean, I understand that teams have to make the right decision and the right call uh, as to uh, what's better for their organization. And if they can get a better stadium on the Kansas side, uh, I say go for it if, if that's what they truly feel. Um, same thing about Missouri. If they feel like they can get the better deal here in Missouri and get what they want, then stay in Kansas City. It all comes down to uh, what they, what the owners really feel they can uh, accomplish at the end of the day anyway. The owners, the presidents, whatever. So, yeah. But that's my take on it. You can leave your comments down below on any of this and let me know what other fans know what you think. I, I Like I said, I'm open-minded. I... I'm not going to shoot the breeze on you one way or the other. It's your opinion. I'll leave it at that. But I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, peace.